Welcome to 2.1's Math Moment. Today, students learn decimals as equal divisions. Some of the things that students learn today is writing fractions as decimals and then saying it. So one of the examples we have is 33 hundredths. So when I say that, I have 33 out of 100. Writing it as a decimal, I would write 0 and as my decimal, and 33 hundredths. My next one I have is 7 tenths. I'm going to start with 0 and 7 tenths in the tenth spot. I have 12 out of a thousand, or 12 thousandths. I'm going to write my zero and my three spots, not them in my thousands. I'm going to write my 12 in my thousand spot, and then I put a zero here for my placeholder. My final one I have is 861 thousandths. So I'm going to write zero and 861 Thousands. Just reviewing the decimal place value, we have our one, we have our decimal, which is our and, we've got our tenths, hundredths, our next one, and then our thousands. At a birthday party, nine out of the ten children wanted cake. What decimal number represents the children who wanted cake? I know that I've got nine out of the ten children who want cake, so I'm going to write that as a fraction. Nine out of ten. Now I need to write that as a decimal. I'm going to write, just like it sounds, 9 out of 10. So I'm going to write 0 and put my 9 in my 10th spot. So 9 tenths of the children wanted cake. Jeff read 34 of the 100 pages in his book. What decimal number represents how much reading Jeff has completed? So I know that Jeff has read 34 out of the 100. So I'm going to write that as a fraction, 34 out of my 100. 34 out of 100, I'm going to make it as a decimal, I'm going to put my 0, and I write 34 out of, in my 100 spot, so I've got 34 hundredths. That's how much Jeff has completed. If you have any questions, see your math teacher.